So how do you play Have You Met Miss Jones? It's really obvious. You listen to the recordings, you transcribe it, you hear it. And then you can play it. Hey, I'm Tina, guitar player from Berlin, and today I'd like to show you the tune Have You Met Miss Jones? And I'm going to show you the melody, how you can play the melody, also including taps. I'm going to show you some easy chords for a do accompaniment. I'm going to show you two intros because I think it's really good manners to play an, an intro. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about improvising over this tune. I'm going to talk about the A part, which is not so hard to play, but I'm also going to talk about the B part that includes some chord range changes and a lot of modulating and I'm just trying to show you some tricks how you can work on this part of the tune and let's get right into it. also made a PDF with all the chord symbols and everything that I'm talking about in this video and you can download that PDF at my website. The link is in the description box below. So I've been googling Have You Met Miss Jones on my Spotify application and then I found this recording from Joe Pass and Niels Henning Oestert Peterson. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And one thing that we can learn from that intro very quick is you can take any shape and replicate that intro. So if you don't want to play maybe this major 7 9 chord but rather play this F6 9 chord, you could try to play the same intro just with another voicing. <laughs> So you can always use the harmonic ideas that people present for intros and outros and just use other shapes. And the second intro is with a C pedal where you can practically play any chords that you ever want on top of that pedal but you can also use this pedal in between choruses if you want to just to spice things up a little bit and if you want to hear a really long intro on that C pedal I recommend listening to the Ahmed Jamal recording. I'm also going to list some of the recordings that I have been listening to in the description box below. So let's have a look at the first A part. It starts with the tonic right we are in F then we have that F sharp diminished chord and that's just a replacement for a 
D7 chord. So it's F major 7, D7, G minor 7, C7. Next chord is F minor. That's just a tonic sound, you can think F major, D minor 7, D s I would prefer to think about D7. So again, it's just a turnaround and also the last A part is just a turnaround. Just be careful in the last four bars, you have the B flat leading to the A minor, which is again a substitute for the tonic. So you could think about the B flat 7 as a tritone substitute for an E7. E7 would be a secondary dominant, 5 going to 3. Then the A minor 7 again is just substituting the tonic another 1, 6 to 5. But be careful, the harmonic rhythm is speeding up. All of a sudden you have two chords per bar. Be sure you play something that makes it very clear that in the second bar already there's the tonic. Everybody's always looking for the hippest scales but in fact it's more about the chords that you think about and if you're playing a 1-6-2-5 you could also very simply think tension release and here are some options how you could play tension release or 1-6-2-5 in another way and it really sounds good to use arpeggios here because it makes the structures of the chords very clear. You're superimposing other chords and as long as you release them in the right spot, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> fun to try to try that out and really like to play triton substituted arpeggio on the five chord. So let's have a look at the B part. I think the B part is the place where most people struggle and that's because it is cold range changes. It's a lot of modulating, a lot of different keys. I just want to explain very quickly what cold range changes are, which is actually not so hard to understand. So, so let's start with the B flat major chord with a B flat major chord and shift just the exact same chord in a major third distance over the fretboard. So B flat major, G flat major. So if you want to count one, two, three, four, there would be four frets. So I'm taking the same voicing, four frets lower, doing the same thing again, doing the same thing again. And then we are again at the B flat major chord. One last time, B flat major, G flat major, D, D major, B flat major. And that's all that is happening there. You're actually dividing the octave into three parts, going to repeat itself. And if you think about it, the good news is there are actually only four possible major cycles possible <laughs> in our system, you know, because after that's going to be repeating and then we have been covering every chord. So what's happening in giant steps is that all those chords are like new tonics, all modulating and in a tune like giant steps but also in heavy met Miss Jones, every chord is anticipated by its five chord and maybe even its two five chord. So the good news 
happens is if you're practicing those cycles and if you're really getting it into your system it's going to be much easier to play all those cold friend tunes like 26-2 countdown giant steps you name it but also you can really like use this knowledge to play a normal 251 you can use it for modal improvisation you can sort of use this very logical pattern in a lots of different ways but i think that's a topic for another video so the bad news is if you didn't practice your scales it's going to be hard to play these changes and i know sometimes it seems to be really hard to know if you really know your scales or not try to play one of the scales that you need let's say g flat major so i'm going to play this position and there's also this other video that I made where I'm talking about scales and there's also a PDF where I have been writing down all those scales on the neck so download it if you're not sure how you can learn them. So if I'm teaching scales my poor students always have to play the scale up and down 10 times without a mistake. So really like this very stupid exercise but very important. <laughs> also urge you to check out maybe all the scales that you need for example for heavy met miss jones in one position you know like the b flat and one thing that you also can do is like try to play a guideline and then harmonize that guideline with chords i prepared two guidelines one descending and one ascending over the b part i'm just going to try to harmonize it with some nice chord voicings today let me know if i could help you if you have any questions write them down in the comment section below and i see you around bye <laughs>